Hello, let's do a mini session. Let's start with lifting the toes. Just lift up your toes, lift the toes, lift the toes, lift the toes, up and down, up and down, only the toes, all of them. And then let's curl the toes, curl the toes in. One, two, three, four, five, and lift the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and curl the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and lift the toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> and then TBL toe raises. Lift the whole forefoot. Keep your heel on the floor and lift the forefoot. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, or just the right foot and tap, move the forefoot to the right, so turn your whole leg, so you turn your knee and your foot and keep tapping, keep tapping, and then with the left foot, keep tapping, tap, 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 and then with both feet, tap, tap, <laughs> to the outside and to the front. To the outside, to the front, keep tapping, tapping, tap, tapping, tapping, three, two, one, and heel raises. You lift the heels and come up on the toes, and then with the majority of your weight on your right foot, on the right big toe, the second toe, the third toe, the fourth toe, the fifth toe, and all the way back, fourth toe, third toe, second toe on the big toe, and shift your weight over to your left foot, left big toe, left second toe, left third toe, fourth, fifth, every time you come up, take a different toe, third, second, big toe, all right. We continue swiftly to roundhouse squats. Bring your behind backwards as if you would like to sit down on a chair, but then no, not a chair, down to a squat, but we don't stay in the squat. Drive your knees forwards, lift your heels and come up as far forward as you can. Then again, go back with your bum behind, go down to the floor and bring your behind forwards and your knees forwards, come up onto your heels and work that into nice circles. If you need a chair for balance, by all means, hold on to something that supports you, allow your head to look down, to look forwards, to look up, and then let's go for seven rounds. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, one more, eight, all right, then kneel downs, place your right foot in front and bring your left knee down to the floor as far as it's comfortable. Again, if you need to hold on to something, do that for your balance and go only as far as it's comfortable and then come up again. Take a step, your left foot is in front and you bring your right knee down to the floor. You sit on your right heel, sit, wait, come up, take a step, go down. All right, we're gonna do 10 of them, up, down, wait, wait, up, down, wait and sit, and up, down, wait and sit, and up, down, and turn when you do it. Turn, turn your shoulder girl, turn, and turn, up and down, and up and down, and down, and up, and we will kneel down with both knees to the floor. So you come to a squat and then kneel and sit on your heels. Have your toes standing. Sit on your heels, knees are touching the floor. And then see if you can bring your knees up so you're balancing. You're just sitting on your heels. And then the knees down to the floor again. So that's our movement. Lift the knees and bring the knees back down to the floor. And maybe you can make this movement bigger every time. So you go into a squat, nearly a squat, forwards kneeling, backwards squatting, and at some point come up to stand, and then all the way back down again. As much as it's comfortable, as much as it's easily possible. Let's do nine pieces. Let's go up and 
down one two three four five six seven eight is a lucky number let's stay there come to kneel on both knees you're on the floor kneeling on both knees and then contract your left glute squeeze your left glute to drive your left hip forward which will turn your pelvis to the right and with your right hand reach for your right heel and look to your right heel again so you squeeze your left buttock turn which turns the pelvis to the right you reach for your right heel one more time and then stay turned and only return your head with the head look to the left and look to the right and look to the left slowly 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 turn your head to look to the right turn to the left and then come forwards again symmetrically one more time reach backwards oh yeah and then on to the other side so you squeeze your right glute drive the length in your right side to turn your pelvis to the left you reach with your left hand for your left heel turn the head to the left and forwards again three times one two three stay there and only return your head forwards head to the left what's there and to the right ah oh, what's over there and to the left oh, what's over here and to the right aha uh -huh, i see and return forwards again now sit back on your feet the feet the insteps flat on the floor so you're in a seated position on the floor with your feet flat the feet snuggled underneath your pelvis but not just yet bring your right foot to standing so you have to find a way to balance over your left knee bring your right foot to stand so you're in a kneeling position and back let's do this five times you have to find a smooth way up one and down again two and down again three and down again four also respect the movement of your shoulder girdle and five and then with the left foot bring your left foot to stand come up left foot to stand and back to sitting on your heels come up left foot standing and back three four and five all right and then it's time for a little meditation so we just sit on the heels like this for one minute or as long as your knees can handle it and we won't think of about anything just focus on being in the present moment for a moment. and then open your eyes if you had your eyes closed and let's bow down to say goodbye thank you very much and see you in the next video